Missouri Valley Conference, and here we go. Drake with the ball. DeBreeze getting his hands on the ball, and here we go. Number two is Tramel Murphy. Penn, Roman Penn, the senior. And the rebound by Lance Jones of SIU. Jones will take the shot for three. Count it! Lance Jones has been on fire. 12 of 22 coming into this game in the last three games from the three-point line. But a bump by Jones on Penn. That will cost Jones the first foul in the ball game. And Drake will inbound the ball. I was just thinking, Rich, to see the colors in the building from all the teams, the bands, the cheerleaders, the dance teams. It's great to have everybody back. And we got the blue of Drake. We got a little purple sprinkled in there. Fellow Iowans, are they cheering for Drake? We're hoping they lose. We'll find out. DeVries giving up the dribble. Here is Penn. Garrett Sturts, a top player, all the way in, and he scores. Starts had a double-double in the last game. Starts where he left off. And great anticipation there. Tank with the dunk. Hemphill on the scoreboard. Coach DeVries was worried about not having D.J. Wilkins, their best defender. The Tank Hemphill looked like the best defender on that possession. Boy, did he read that pass. The Blanken Jr. Jones on the outside. Jones can to three, the first shot for SIU. Damask all the way in, and he scores. Damask averaging 15 a game. No first game jitters between these two teams. Well, they've seen plenty of each other, and it goes back to last Saturday. DeVries short. And plenty of maroon around the basket, with Jones streaking to the front court. And we have some contact on the drive into the lane by Coupette. Tank Hemphill, watch him read the passer's eyes. He jumps the passing lane. Last year's newcomer of the year. A terrific way to start this game. Garrett starts with the foul. SIU basketball. The mask accepting the inbounds pass. And he scores, taking the ball right to the basket against Tramel Murphy. Here's Murphy taking the three. Lots of maroon around the basket again. The mask was there. Jones, the mask long downtown short. And I'm not sure if the mask knew how far out he was on that possession. I'm not sure you crossed the river yet into Missouri. <laughs> and on the wing. DeVries, a long outside shot off the back iron. And up big and strong for the rebound. Nicely done there by Coupet. Coupet with the ball fake. In on tank. And he couldn't dunk it. Hempel comes away with the ball. As Coupet got past Hempel. Hempel off the glass. No, but Murphy. Offensive rebounds are going to be big for the Bulldogs. And we're out to a 7 6 start. SIU with the lead and the ball. Jones at the point, guarded by Roman Penn. Jones, a long, high arcing shot. And a long rebound. Banks was able to get it, but the Salukis can't score on the next shot. Back the other way, Murphy. DeVries, Sturts, short, rebound to Mask. And that's swatted all the way to midcourt where Penn advances all the way in and he scores. Second hustle play for Tramel Murphy. Offensive rebound, steal. And that basket gives Drake a one point lead coming down to 16 minutes to go in the first half. We've had a fast start. We've had some big plays already in the opening minutes. The mask with the ball at the baseline. He moves in and on the fadeaway count. Six for Damask. Nine, eight Salukis. 
Bulldogs with the ball right now. And Penn at the point. And a senior from Calumet City. Played at Siena before going to Drake. Starts with the ball fake. And he is. Unfortunately, tore his ACL in the last home game. And that is a big loss. A year ago in this tournament, he had 20 points in the championship game. Also their best defender. But as Darren DeVries has said, hey, it's next man up. He's used to playing shorthanded in the conference tournament. Well, how about Wilkins as a freshman? Broken ankle, the final regular season home game against Indiana State, and then missed the last four games, including a game at Arch Madness. And here he is missing this, but he's here for moral support for his teammates, and I know that means a lot to them. And it means a lot to Tank Hempel to step into the starting lineup. Here's Damask. Brown into the game, Trent Brown. Marcus Damask. And he is blocked. And DeVries had a hand in it. There are three jerseys around him, and Damask had nowhere to go. Now the steal, Brown against DeVries, and Brown is in the scoring column. Memphis got a little careless with the basketball out front. Trent Brown denying the pass. Excellent job by the young man from Arizona. Here's Penn moving the ball in on J.D. Mula. Mula number 11 in the game now for Brian Mullins. Number 51 is Darnell Brody. Penn to Brody. And Brody too hard off the glass. Stephen Verplanken Jr. had the rebound, and here's Jones way outside. That shot is short. On the bounce, DeVries clears it up the sideline. The 11 10 Salukis. Tank Campbell handing off to Tramel Murphy. And a collision with Lance Jones. And a foul. And the foul is on Murphy. That's his first foul. There's a reason Southern Illinois leads the league in scoring defense. They make it hard to catch every pass. Trent Brown jumps the passing lane, makes the steal. They seem to pick up on video and watching the two games during the regular season. Uh, they get the tendencies. Both teams know each other so well. They've taken the personality of their head coach, Brian Mullins, a two-time defensive player of the year when he played at Southern Illinois. Darren DeVries, a three-point shooter at UNI. His team plays much like he did. Jones with the miss. And here come the Bulldogs with Hempel to the front court. Drake down by one. 13-25 and counting in the first half. Here's Penn. And he couldn't get the roll. And the collision at the end line results in a whistle. And DeVries is called for his first foul today. And here's the question both coaches are going to ask of the officials. If this is going to be called very tightly, it could be a key factor because neither of these teams have a deep bench. And DeVries got a little bit of too much harm for the officials liking on that possession. Three fouls so far for Drake, two for SIU. Here's Banks. Advancing and has his pocket picked. Hock and Wole with the steal. Io, Hock and Wole stopping. Up front, Stokes. And Kimbell, guarded by Tony D'Amico. And that's off the back end. the miss. Now he'll play defense with Banks in the front court. The Saluki's up by one. Mola. Hempel with the mask. And nine on the shot clock. Mola with the pick. And the roll. And the score. A terrific catch by Mola on the pick and roll. Brody a little bit 
slow to get back on a defensive end. Muda was money. That's a three ball from the outside. Okay, Jam Goose gets his first shot. Came out of Canada as one of the best three-point shooters in the whole country. D'Amico out high. Brown to D'Amico. But the Saluki's working the ball on the outside. Now baseline jumper that goes off the rim. Then go down to Brown. Starts pushing the ball up the floor. to Jam Goose. Outside shot is short. Brody couldn't score. 13 13. Tempo with the steal. The handoff for Sturts in heavy traffic. Fucking Willie misses the shot. Tempo. In different ways, scoring, rebounding, defensively. There's Sturts with the ball. And on for Plankin Jr. Fucking Willie. Long outside shot, Jam Goose, and the rebound for J.D. Mula. SIU with the ball, started the game three for three from the field, since then three for 11. We've had two ties, six lead changes, tied at 13 right now. There's Jones looking for an opening. He'll take the baseline jumper, and he hit the glass. Mula tries to save it, but throws it to the scorer's table, and Drake. We'll have the basketball with 10.28 left in the first half. As you look at Coach Darren DeVries giving extended minutes to Jam Goose and Akin Wallet. And as we've seen in, already in this tournament, who's going to step up and kind of come out of nowhere? We saw Riediger do it for Valparaiso in their win yesterday. Well, it seemed like he hit three three-pointers in a row and then was fouled and got three free throws. Exactly. Pretty much the game was in Valparaiso's hands against Evansville last night. And Dawson Carper came up big for Missouri State off go? the bench today. On the drive, and Ed Alder's shot. Akamole couldn't score. And that is a hell ball. The possession arrow favors the Salukis. That drive looks so good until... SIU closed in around the basket. And Ayo Akinwole didn't have uh, any room to go. Had to alter his shot. Couldn't score. And with the tied up ball. The Saluki's inbound. Tony D'Amico, number 23, into number five, Lance Jones, a junior from Evanston, Illinois. Thirteen on the shot clock, and Sturts with a hold, his second foul. That foul is the fourteenth foul on Drake in the first half. Akamole to the bench, Roman Penn back in. From the lane with the left hand and the miss by Kyler Fulowich. From Mel Murphy. Now Penn. Found an opening, creates some space and missed the shot off the back iron. And the rebound for Kyler Fulowich. Jones had a little room, but coming from behind Murphy denied the basket. Coach Brian Mullins wants a foul. We'll get another look at it, see if the officials missed it or got it right. Ooh, they missed that one. <laughs> Jones had his arm grabbed. Sometimes the officials do miss those calls. The mask off the bench, back in now. The Salukis have the ball, 22 on the shot clock. Bilovich faking the handoff. Shot for three, won't go down for Verplanken Jr. Penn uses up the dribble, looks for some help. A lob pass, nice catch by DeVries. DeVries lobbing for the dunk! What timing! Tank him 
Campbell with the dunk, and he has four. DeVries saw that one coming from the moment he caught it. With that on the outside, along with Lance Jones. The mask for Blanken, open. But he'll fan it back out. Jones, long shot, short. DeVries in good rebound position. And running the floor. And his pass right at the head of Tramiel Murphy or Tank Hempel, but that one just shot to the sideline for a turnover. And DeVries, as soon as he caught it at half court, he saw Hempel in the corner. Nobody guarding him, and he knew if he threw it by the rim, Tank would put it home. Darnell Brody liked that shot as well. Mola in. And Filovich to the bench for SIU. 15-13 Drake. Jones watched by Roman Penn. Murphy is guarding Damask. Good catch inside, and he scores. Eight for Marcus Damask. Saturday against Drake, 21 points and five rebounds for Damask. There's Jones poking the ball. 19 on the shot clock after the timeout. Murphy contested by Damask. Nice catch there. And now Penn. The breeze over to the sideline. Inside Brody. Brody over Mula. And down with the ball for SIU Lance Jones. Jones hit a three ball, the first shot of the night for SIU. Hasn't scored since. He's averaging 17.8 points over the last four games. For Plankin Jr. on the handoff for Jones. Damask trying to get inside the freshman DeVries. And Damask is going to put the shot up, and he'll be on the free throw line. NBC student athletes are positively impacting the communities where they live by sharing views and fostering a climate for change for our future, future Valley pioneers. To learn more about mobilizing voices for change, visit mvc-sports.com slash one valley. DeVries picked up his second foul, sending Damas to the free throw line. An 83% shooter. And Darren DeVries is going to have to make a decision. Does he keep his son in the game with his team struggling offensively and he's their best offensive player or does he manage his fouls put him on the bench and try and save him for the second half nice and easy at the free throw line Damask has reached double figures in scoring here in the first half I'm not necessarily a big proponent of sitting someone down with only two fouls in the first half you keep playing Brody Mula hitting the deck, and Mula is called for his first foul. J.D. Mula going to slide his feet, try and stay in front of Brody. Ah, the officials got that one right. I don't think he was set. Didn't get it in chest. Four fouls on SIU. The Bulldogs play the ball in. Murphy with the turnaround, and he gets fouled. Murphy will shoot two. I know Mua is upset about that call, but it's principle of verticality for the offensive player. Once he's up in the air, you've got to allow him to come down. Mua slides underneath him and is correctly called for the foul. Two fouls on Mula and five now for the Salukis. And here's Tramel Murphy. Murphy has scored two so far tonight. John, we went all season long. I don't know if I have ever said the official has made the right call two times in a row. But it is Valley Tournament play. Get your best officials. And that goes back to your coaching days? <laughs> I guarantee you they never made the right call <laughs> twice in a row. <laughs> spoken like a true coach. One more here for Murphy at 6.59 left in the first half. and He's trying to tie the game at 17. Sturts jumps off the bench. He'll come back in in a moment for the Bulldogs. That rattles in for Murphy. Murphy has four in the first half. Darren DeVries pulls 
Tucker out on the defensive end. I think rightfully so on this possession because as smart as Brian Mullins is, he's going to try and exploit that foul trouble by the leading scorer. Well, you know he will. Darren DeVries not going to give him a chance. Jones for Damask. And heavy traffic. D'Amico is blocked, but saved by Damask. For Blanken Jr. Running in the pin. Three on the shot clock. Long shot, Damask. And there's Kubet, who can't score, but he follows his shot. That's Love his first field goal. I the do, young too. Man. Well, you preach in practice so many times, coach. Follow the shot. Stay with it. Kupet did. It paid off. Paid dividends. Second shot opportunities. They changed the game. Six minutes left in the first half. Garrett Skirts. Roman Penn. Akinwole doesn't have the shot. Skirts with two on the shot clock. And there's Jones with the rebound. Skirts just got the shot away. Jones with the stutter step. For the corner shot, that won't go down. Tapped out. Stephen Verplanken, Jr. Now he takes a look over to his coach, Brian Mullins. Jones out high. Verplanken. The mask underneath. And he scores. To tie or take the lead this trip down the floor at 518 left in the first half. Arch Madness in St. Louis, Missouri. With Rich Zabosik, Tom Ackerman, our sideline reporter, and John Rooney. Now Penn. DeVries takes the handoff. Sturch faking the handoff. Backs away to the wing. Offensive foul. And let's go to Tom Ackerman. John, when he was being recruited, you might think it was an automatic that Tucker DeVries would commit immediately to play for his father at Drake, but that was not the case. Tucker said it was a very difficult decision. The reason is the recruitment also involved Creighton, the team he grew up rooting for in Omaha. Darren, his dad, was an assistant there when he was growing up, and the head coach at Creighton, Greg McDermott, was like family to him. He said it was hard to turn down the Creighton team. He saw a rise to a prominent national program, but like the great Doug McDermott did with his dad at Creighton. Tucker did not want to pass up that opportunity at Drake. He said both programs feel like home, but playing for my dad is home. The bat lost the grip on the ball, slings it out though. Jones, one fake. For Plankin with a shot. Rolls off. Jones has one hand on it. And the ball's going the other way. I think about what Tom just said. And yes, Greg McDermott may have been like a second father to Tucker DeVries, but Darren DeVries still had the inside track with his mother. And as we know, the mothers are the most influential people in recruiting. Kupab with the foul and under four and a half minutes to go. It's Drake's ball. Did you ever go on a recruiting trip and said, yes, ma'am, I will have another piece of that apple pie as we talk about your son. Didn't matter if those apples were rotten. I ate a second slice. <laughs> He was really good. I ate a third slice. Here is Penn. Bullet pass low. Great catch. Sturch. And he couldn't score. Couldn't convert. Under four minutes to go in the first half. Jones for Blanken. He's going all the way in to score. Stephen Verplanken Jr. Averaging 6-8 a game. He's on the scoreboard. 21-17 Salukis. Their biggest lead here in the first half. Drake's got to figure out a way to get Tucker DeVries on track. The leading scorer still has not scratched it yet. Here's DeVries. And that's short. Damask rebounds. Outlet for Lance Jones. Bank stops. Pops. Off the back end. Tramel Murphy on the outlet for Penn. Roman Penn, nothing inside, Skirts. Here's Murphy, and he lost the grip on the ball as he ran in. 
to D'Amico. A three ball. Too strong. And the ball is slapped out to D'Amico. Jones will shoot the three and hit it. Our final game of quarterfinal Friday. The semifinals tomorrow on CBS Sportsnet and then CBS TV over the air for the championship game on Sunday here at Enterprise Center in St. Louis. Got to run a play to try and get something easy for DeVries. He's had three contested shots in the first 18 minutes. Well, DeVries is fighting just to get open. There he is on the outside, stepping up, shooting from the free throw line. Got it. You're asking? It's a reason why Darren DeVries is the two-time Missouri Valley Conference Coach of the Year. 24-19, SIU with the lead in the ball. Dalton Banks, a sophomore from Eau Claire, Wisconsin, number three. D'Amico lobbing low. And there's a steal for DeVries. Sturts running the floor. And he gets the layup with the left hand. Six for Garrett Sturts. Some people forget that Sturts was one of the leading scorers in Iowa high school history. Newton, Iowa. Jones lets it fly, and that's an air ball. That gives the ball back to Drake. We invite you to stay tuned for our halftime report with Scott Horman, sponsored by State Farm Insurance, a proud partner of the Missouri Valley Conference. For surprisingly great rates, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. And Scott will cover all of that ground for you and more to set up our second half of SIU and Drake. We're coming down to one minute left in the first half. Hemphill couldn't get past Verplanken, and Verplanken fouled him. The first on Verplanken. The Bulldogs are in the one and one. John, I feel like I'm, I'm sitting ringside of a heavyweight boxing match. And everybody just seems to be throwing haymakers one after another. The Salukis and now the Bulldogs banging right back at them. Hemphill, a 63% free throw shooter. He gets a bonus. Looking for point number six in the first half. He averages 9-8 a game and five rebounds a game. Tank Hemphill scores two. Hemphill, another one of those guys banged up throughout the course of the year. Finally got healthy at the right time. And has played so well over the last four games, averaging almost 15 a game and shooting 54% from the field. Number 10, Okan Jamgoose back in the game for the Bulldogs as Jones brings the ball to the front court for the Salukis. D'Amico, whoa, good catch by Damask, and he'll be on the free throw line. The foul is on Penn. That's Penn's first. Two shots for Damask, who's gone two for two from the line so far today. John, watch how close Garrett Sturts was to stealing this lob as he comes flying through. The mask, those strong hands for the young man from Wisconsin. A nice touch on the free throw. 11 points for Damask. He has scored 20 or more points eight times this season for the Salukis. Second team all MVC. And he leads the team in rebounding and assists. He gets about four assists a game. He can do a lot of things well. The big man scores. 12 for Damask in the first half. And, and on Banks all the way in and off the glass. And 58 over Valparaiso. And we'll play the winner of this contest at 5 tomorrow in the semifinals. For Blanken looking for Damask. And on Hemphill, drawing a double team with Penn. Baseline jumper short. That wouldn't go for D'Amico. Terrific doubles. Can take this last shot. Trent Brown is back in the lineup now for the Salukis, playing defense with Penn across the line. You check out the clock, the lower portion of your screen, with time running down in the first half. They go one four low and put. 
Penn's defender. Banks on an island. Sturch scores. He has eight. And there's the shot to end the half. And the Bulldogs open up the second half with that two-point advantage. And here we go with Rich Zavosik, Tom Ackerman, I'm John Rooney. We're courtside here at Enterprise Center in St. Louis, our final quarterfinal Friday game here in St. Louis. DeVries with the ball. He had two points in the first half. Here's DeVries stepping up, shooting from beyond the free throw line. Four points for Tucker DeVries. And they were very methodical with the half-court offense right out of the start of the second half. Well, they spaced the floor out to give Tucker DeVries a one-on-one -on -one situation. And a little size advantage over Damask. No jitters, no nervousness in this freshman. Damask in heavy traffic somehow scores. He has 14 points. A lot of grit in the young man from Wapen, Wisconsin. Skirts looking for him here. Tank moving in and scoring. Give him eight points for the day. It's kind of how the first half started. Both teams scored at will, and then they started slugging it out on the defensive end. Here's Banks up to Jones. Jones scored six in the first half. And a foul on Murphy. Trammell has committed three fouls. There was a point where Murphy had the two fouls. Tucker DeVries had a couple of fouls. Garrett Sturtz, that really threw the rhythm off for Drake. It, it did, and I, I got to tell you, I, I don't agree with that foul. I mean, both players have a right to a spot on a floor. And if Murphy's in that spot, the mass doesn't have the authority or the ability to take him off that spot. Here's Damask muscling his way in, and he has four points in the second half, 16 in the game. Great use of the left hand by Damask. But that was a big, important foul there with the third on Tramiel Murphy. And down the stretch, Drake had the regulars back in, and that propelled the Bulldogs to a two-point halftime lead. And how about that for Murphy? Give him six tonight. So let's keep an eye on this end of the floor. If Murphy is going to be switched off of Damask, which he is, they're going to put Hemphill on him to try and keep Murphy from picking up a fourth. And look at that drive to the basket. Eight for Jones. Penn. Hemphill scores. The assist for Roman Penn. Ten for Shen Quan Tang Hemphill. For Plankin Jr. Jones stepping up and had the ball deflected by Sturtz. Hemphill to Sturtz. Blocked! And a foul called on Ben Kubat. We have the advantage of watching in slow motion. If I'm Brian Mullins, I don't know if I'm happy with that call. Well, that's a third foul on Ben Coupette, the senior from Chicago. Sending Garrett Sturtz to the free throw line, where Sturtz is two for two in this game. The only place to celebrate before and after all the Arch Madness action at Enterprise Center is the NBC Fan Hangout at Ballpark Village. For all you need to know about the Fan Hangout, download the Arch Madness amp. App that is right now. That's the Arch Madness app. This game has been amped up. Sturts, who had 16 and 10 in the two previous games, had a double double in the last game. He's one of the quietest scorers. Oh, that runs out. And he has nine, going three for four from the free throw line. 17 minutes to go in the game. A five point lead for Drake, the biggest Bulldog lead so far in this one. In a game that has been tied five times and an offensive foul. Mullah has three personal fouls. 
So does Capet. Well, here's the thing, John. If the officials are going to start calling it tighter here in the second half, the players are going to have to adjust. The officials aren't going to adjust to the players. So you got to make sure that you are stationary on all screens. Keep your arms down. Make sure you don't reach on a defensive end. Murphy comes back in with his three fouls. Tony D'Amico is in the game along with Trent Brown for SIU. As Penn finds Murphy and right back to Penn. DeVries starts. Eight on the shot clock. DeVries bumping. And with the collision, a foul called. This is on Tucker DeVries, his third foul. We could almost see that one coming, couldn't you, Rich? Now Trent Brown, he's going to fight the pressure, but once DeVries puts his shoulder down, makes contact, Trent Brown does a good job of it. You just got to fall down. And that's exactly what he did. Drew the third foul. Could change the complexion of this game. Number 10, Okai and Jam Goose. In with DeVries over on the bench. Here's Jones, and that's poked out of bounds by Hempel, who was saying, wait a minute, wait a minute, wasn't that touch before it went out of play? No. DeMass didn't get a hand on it. Well, Darren DeVries was forced to go back to Murphy with three fouls in place of Darnell Brody because Brian Mullins took Mula out of the game, and there's really nobody that Brody could cover at that point. So you got to gamble with Murphy with three. Jones has scored eight points tonight. D'Amico had the ball when the whistle stopped play. And the foul is on Hemphill. We're getting a lot of whistles now in the early going here in the second half. Three fouls on Drake, two on SIU. Damask. Looking to create inside. Couldn't finish. Good rebounding position for Hemphill. And have a sportsmanship, and that's what this game is all about. It's supposed to be and is in this one for sure with so much respect for these two teams and the players, uh, what they have for one another. It's great to see. Jam Goose, number 10 in the game, and on the outside. Hemphill looking for some space. Jam Goose drives. And over the rim it goes. Murphy with the loose ball for the Drake Bulldogs. Here's Penn. Penn will take the shot and miss it short. Jones going for the rebound along with Murphy. Murphy knocks the ball out of bounds. SIU is trailing by five with 15.07 to go in the second half. Damascus scored 16 tonight. He had 21 Saturday with five rebounds at Greg. So Plankin Jr. Jones. For Blanket, a long three attempt short. Tank him to the front court. And Drake looking to improve on a five point lead. What do you think of Penn's play today? He's been solid at the point. He's controlled the action. He's picked his spots, when to go to the rim. He's played like the old Roman Penn. I agree. Here's Penn with three on the shot clock. In the basket. Right on cue. He has seven points. He looks healthy. He really he has playing. a spring to his step. Playing with a purpose. Biggest lead for Drake at 39-32. Big trip for the Salukis with Jones shooting and missing. Here's Murphy for Drake. With the Bulldogs looking to build on the lead. Hempel had that one go off his hand right to Penn. Penn was in the right place to save the possession. And 
Bill, watched by Tony Domenico. Five on the shot clock. Hempel with two on the shot clock. Rebound starts. And he'll get it out to Jam Goose. Off the back iron. The follow goes. Out of Sportsnet. And Chalk has held this far, or thus far. We'll see if Drake can continue it as the lower seeds keep winning. Coupette with three fouls in the game for SIU. Here's Jones. Coupette has scored just two. And Pan comes up with the loose ball for Sturts. Which Darren DeVries has been able to melt this clock. Murphy with three and DeVries with three as well. Think it to the under 12 minute. Both guys will be able to come back in and play free and easy. Three ball off the back iron. Kubat running the floor and he is tied up and fouled. Jam Goose with the reach in. And that's his first foul. NBC fans, the conference has announced the single session ticket discount offers for Arch Madness 2022. The Family Fun Pack, American Heroes, Hoops Hookie, the name of few. The offers can be found at archmadness.com. So get your tickets right now. Another free throw coming up for Coupette, a 77% shooter from the line. John, they tell me that Ben Coupet is the best video gamer on this team. You wonder how many times he has played maybe 2K college basketball, how many times he has relived this. Brody, a good rebounding position off the miss. And it's 41-33, Drake. DeVries and Hempel on the outside. Tucker DeVries has scored four. Looking to add to it, he does. And DeVries knew he had a smaller Trent Brown on him. Don't settle for the jumper, take him to the rim. Bounce pass inside, nobody home. The breeze into the front court now for the Bulldogs, leading by 10. For this game at 5 o'clock in the semifinals. Tucker DeVries. 76% shooter from the line, has another shot coming up. He was the 2021 Mr. Basketball in the state of Iowa, leading his high school to a state championship. Seven points for DeVries. Low scoring, 44-33 game in favor of the Bulldogs from Des Moines, Iowa. Jones and Damask. Kupat with the fake, steps up, open shot, and he got it. A good closeout by Sturts forced Kupat to put it on the floor, but Kupat Demonstrating the mid-range game. Fifteen on the shot clock with DeVries advancing the ball. Left hand and it funnels out. Damas. This is a big trip up the floor now for the Salukis. Out of bounds. That so goes off off the melee. Salukis ball from over by the SIU bench. Lance Jones, eight points. Two of those in the second half. Damask was 16 points, four in the second half. Glad the wraparound pass. Mulan couldn't secure it. Loose ball. Coupette has it. Coupette, wraparound pass, and the basket from Mulan. Very well done by the Salukis. That took some precision to get that ball inside. Hempel out high, 15 on the shot clock. Let's see how long Darren DeVries 
Continues to have Roman Penn on the bench. Take a, take a look at this effort. That's two big bodies diving on the floor. And then a terrific job by Coupette and J.D. Muller doing a good job of keeping his eye on the basketball. A lot of guys would be running in for an offensive rebound. But Boy, what a drop pass. Hands were ready. Coupet put it right there in his hands. Five on the shot clock. Penn. Hemphill. No basket of foul. Stopping the clock at 9.56 with one second on the shot clock. The third foul for Lance Jones. And Darren DeVries quickly answered my question. How long was he going to keep Penn? He said, I'd seen enough. I'm putting him back in. Tank Hemphill with 10 points today. Two from the free throw line. Oh, nice roll. Nice touch. One more in play at 9.56 to go in the second half at Arch Madness in St. Louis. The Missouri Valley Conference men's basketball tournament. 12 for Hemphill. He had 8.6 rebounds, one steal in 33 minutes against SIU last Saturday. Trent Brown wears number 24 for SIU. Murphy's got to be careful on this possession. And a whistle off the ball. You were saying four fouls was, on Murphy. He was not careful enough. And Brody jumps off the bench. There is time for quite a run here for SIU. Murphy has scored eight points, goes to the bench with four fouls. The shot by Jones is short. Out of bounds. And the ball goes to Drake. Roman Penn, the senior from Calumet City, Illinois, seven points in this one and has run the offense very well. Brown guards DeVries. Penn at the three-point line. Sturts lost his balance. <laughs> With a little help from Lance Jones. Here's DeVries muscling his way in. High off the glass. Nine for Tucker DeVries. Tucker DeVries showing a wide array of shots. Off the wrong foot. 48-37, the biggest lead for the Drake Bulldogs. To Pat. Hounded by Sturts. Jones stepping up, and he's cut off by the 6'10 Darnell Brody. Damascus behind the back dribble and a basket. Talk about some magic there. 18 for Damask. We are seeing some terrific shot. 16 fouls SIU, five for Drake. The Bulldogs play the ball in and now pin. This game could quickly become a war of attrition. The breeze for Sturts. Seven on the shot clock. Brody with the pick. And on the bounce, there's Penn for Drake. Brody takes the pass long. As we talked about earlier, it could Don't you think a... the game was called a little tighter in the second half than uh, the I, first half? Yes, especially away from the ball. And the players have had to adjust. And some have went to the bench who haven't adjusted. Long three-point attempt good for Ben Coupette. Give him eight. 41% from behind the arc for Coupette for the season. That's a senior that doesn't want his career to end. As I mentioned, this time for a Saluki run. Akinwole with Sturts on the outside. Here's Penn putting the ball on the floor. 
Finding Hempel, who gets a step on D'Amico and scores. Hempel has 14. He has played a terrific game. And he was a terrific scorer at Wisconsin Green Bay. He's shown that he can do other things, but he's called upon tonight. They need his scoring. Long pass for Damask. Shooting a long three short. Akinwole into the front court for Penn. DeVries driving. And over the rim, Hempel is fouled. Hempel looking to add to his 14 points, and he'll try from the free throw line. Double double for Hempel. So he'll score 14 to go on with 10 rebounds. It's his ninth career double double. Tony D'Amico put him on the line. The first foul for D'Amico. 15 for Tank Empe. Eight points in 33 minutes last Saturday against SIU. This shot in play at 6.33 to go. You don't see very often, John, a guy not dribble the ball before a free throw attempt, but it's working for Tank Hemphill. Eye it, shoot it, hit it. Keep it simple. For Blanken Jr. in the front court. And a reach around by Hemphill, his second foul. The 16th foul on Drake. So SIU will inbound. Hemphill not understanding the foul call. He thought he had moved around him. Mula in. And D'Amico will go to the bench. Don Banks is the trigger man on the inbounds pass. There's the lob for J.D. Mula. Shot clock. The mask with 18 points. Bass. And there's Penn on the run. He'll slow it down and set up the half court offense. Darren DeVries once again says, Hey, somebody else is going to beat me besides Marcus DeMask. Make him get rid of the ball out of the double team. with the one-hander. Give him nine on the day. And he had up some time off the shot clock before sinking that jumper. If you can get to the four-minute timeout, you can get Tramiel Murphy back in the game. And Bill watching the mask. Great pass and the score for Dalton Banks' his first field goal. I talked about the mask. Averaging 3.9 assists a game, that's why. Always looking for a score. He's always looking past first. Inside five minutes to go in the game. 54-44, Drake. The breeze gets inside. Mula, the turnaround jumper goes. 11 for Tucker DeVries. You watch him and you think he... He's looking at it, and he thinks he can beat anybody off the dribble at this point, and he has shown it. The mask over Blanken and around to Banks. Banks has his pocket pick. DeVries with the steal. We saw a defensive clinic by Loyola earlier today. Not bad for Drake in this game. We're seeing the effectiveness of the double team. Ben, Brandville, two points. Five guys from Northeast Indiana who came with that first recruiting class for Darren DeVries. And he has come up big in the absence of a fellow. Jones Indiana. with some space. Jones has 10. He averages 14-7 a game. 
Under four minutes to go. Coming down to three and a half to play. This is where I think Penn has done a good job directing traffic. He's in heavy traffic right now. And he wants a time. Scott Warman, the Mitch Holtis, Kevin Lehman, Tom Ackerman, Rich Zavosik. It's been a pleasure to work with all of you gentlemen. All of you ladies and gentlemen helping us get these pictures out over the air. Here's DeVries. And he got the roll. 13 for Tucker DeVries. Uh, the old, How did he get the shot away? Uh, the old cliche, the shooter's touch. The perfect possession. A basket with one second on the shot clock. Here's Jones muscling one over the rainbow over the rim. DeVries will bring the ball up the floor inside three minutes to go. 60 to 46. Drake with the lead pulling away and there's a foul on Damask. That's his first. Stopping the clock at 2.51 to play. Now it's time score and situation for the Drake Bulldogs with under three minutes to go. Try and milk the clock and Darren DeVries and his staff sitting over there. They're calculating in their heads. How many possessions are there left in this game if we take it down 30 seconds. Meanwhile Ryan Mullins has got to make a decision. Of does he want to try and start fouling now to the extend the game. And that's what he's going to need. He's going to need some missed free throws. And a missed there by Tucker DeVries who was one for three from the line. Jones to mask from the corner. Advances to the lane. And that is a block, even though there was a forearm out there. A foul called on Hemphill, his third. Bad break for Hemphill. Let's take a look at this. That's a good call. He was still moving. Yeah, the arm wasn't extended as far as I thought. You know, what the officials watch there, they watch the shoulders of the defender. If both shoulders are pointing at the sideline, that's a charge. But as you can see on that play, this, he had one shoulder pointing towards the baseline. Good call by the official. The bonus here for D'Amico, 62% from the line. 13 minutes of Drake Saturday, he had two points and a rebound. And D'Amico goes one for two. Under two and a half to go. Drake looking for a date with Missouri State tomorrow in the semifinals. Leading 60 to 47. Ben watching the clock wind down. Ten on the shot clock. Most skirts was wide open in the lane. Ben blocked by D'Amico. Three on the shot clock with 205 on the game clock. Three seconds. Look for a back screen for a lob, perhaps to Hemphill. We've seen Drake run that before in the past. There's the lob and off Hemphill's hands. Coupette watches the ball roll across the line to Damask. Jones for three in there. 13 for Lance Jones. A 10 point lead for the Bulldogs. And back to the game plan with Penn coming into the front court, taking a look at the shot clock. 17 16, counting down. Not sure why SIU is not trying to double the ball, get it out of his hands, try and create a turnover. We're going to run out of clock. Here's five on the shot clock. And a short, close in basket by Penn gives him 11. And a 12 point lead for the Bulldogs. Jones lost the grip on the ball. Back to Drake. And the frustration is mounting now for the Salukis. We've talked about it. You've mentioned it, John. It, Roman Penn has controlled the action. This entire ball game, when to go, when to pull it out. He may not have a sandwich named after him like Adam Emenecker, but he is one of the best <laughs> four generals to ever have played a Drake. Oh, missing the dunk. I gotta tell you, I've seen a lot of guys hang a lot longer than that. 
And as the it does not count as a foul. So now Damask will inbound. And Drake's going to pick up full court, just trying to make them throw the ball in at the baseline. Try to eat up some time. And the layup. Jones has scored 15. And a one and one coming up here. Bull over this fourth foul. That stops the clock at 57.4 to go. Roman Penn still instructing his teammates. The coach on the floor. Just watching him play the last few years. I can tell you this. If he decides to go into coaching after his playing career is over, he will make a very successful coach. Big deep breath for Penn at the free throw line. He gets another one. 12 for Penn. He was named NBC All First Team in 2021. In the 1920 season, he was the NBC member of the NBC All Newcomer Team. And here he is as a senior with 13 points, trying to extend his team's season to the semifinals tomorrow. Mask and Jones. Jones way outside. There's DeVries finding Murphy. Finding Skirts. Hempel on the run, and he's fouled. Hempel to the free throw line. The foul is on Jones, and that's his fifth. Jones was not going to be a poster child of Tank Hemphill's dunk. Grabs him before he goes up. Outstanding year for Lance Jones. And one more coming up for Hemphill, who is 18 points. This is a young group for Southern Illinois. Lance Jones will be back. Marcus Damask will be back, as is Trent Brown. Future is bright for Brian Mullins and the Salukis. That is tipped out of bounds with 23 on the shot clock, 33.7 on the game clock, as Drake will improve to 23 and 9. And face off with the number two seed, Missouri State, also 23 and 9. The mask with the long outside shot. No the rebound there for Penn, who will just dribble out the clock. As he was able to dribble a lot of time off the shot clock before advancing the offense so many times in the second half. And it's Missouri State and Drake at 5 o'clock. You and I and Loyola will start today at 2.30 tomorrow on CBS Sports Network. And that's the game. The Drake Bulldogs won 78-69.